Um, well, I'm Kayla Caliboso. I am from Milani. I went to Milani High School. Um, I am hoping to become an optometrist in the future, so that's what my career goal is. Um, yeah. <laughs> Hi, my name is Janelle JJ Nanko, and uh, I'm actually not from here. I'm an army brat, so I moved around a lot, but I went to high school in uh, Germany, Ansbach High School, and it was pretty cool. So my career goal right now is that I honestly want to be a professor at any university. Yeah, it's pretty cool because I really want to be like that smart guy, but like down to earth, <laughs> but in funny. Yeah. <clears throat> Well, so I guess to get to the meat of it, uh, we're basically studying the bacteria found in the digestive tract of both feral and commercial chickens. And we're trying to get an idea of what's present there. Well, so for the feral chickens, we found a high, a high percentage of bacterioides which is, it's a certain bacteria, which is, it's beneficial for the chickens and it's, they probably have a high, well, they have a high amount of bacterioides because of their irregular diet. So because they're able to just eat anything off the street or wherever they can, they're able to digest that. So we're thinking that probably be, it's probably because of the bacterioides, the amount of bacterioides is in their gut. that's able, it's for them to able to eat all those foods. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we also noticed that they're, Within our uh, feral samples, we noticed a lot of diversity between each chicken. So we had seven different chickens, and not all of them are exactly the same to each other. Um, and we also noticed that our commercial samples, they're more similar to each other as well. Um, so unlike our feral samples. And between feral and commercial, they're also pretty different together too. For research purposes in the future, we could probably see like maybe what bacteria could be beneficial or non-beneficial for any chicken use so that maybe you can give them you know, any antibiotics so that they can live longer or produce more eggs or anything like that. And then yeah. we also have an idea of what bacteria are present in the gut microbiota as a, in general. Um, and we're also trying to, I guess, or it's, it's important because uh, your gut microbiota plays a really big role in food safety, your immune system, the way you um, absorb your nutrients and your development. And so we're just trying to get a better feel for that. For me, I mean, it just seemed like a really good experience to get hands-on research and get to work in a lab. Um, for lab classes in uh, Leeward or anywhere, basically, you, you get to spend some time in the lab, but you don't get to know everything so in-depth and you don't get to practice over and over. You kind of just sit once and done, but here you get one-on-one -on -one time with your mentor and you just get to know everything so in-depth. I'm happy that, it, that I was into this program because I, one thing I actually have to make, a, I can make a difference here too. I can learn more. Plus, you know, even like in the beginning of this program, I really didn't know anything. I couldn't even read the journal, the scientific journals. It was it's English, but I can't understand it. So being here really like expanded my knowledge for any science, any lab base. And it's pretty cool, honestly, because they don't teach you this in a, in a classroom or like you just follow a lab instructions and that's it. For us, they just, hey, this is your project and you just do it. And yeah, that's, that's what I love about it.